mom did cocaine or heroin, she would die that instant. What are you talking about? All right, so this is what Jada's talking about, all right? I'm investigating my deficiency, and it says right here, right here. Where can I find it? <sighs> Many circulating uh, ester um, containing compounds, including succinylcholine, da 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 and cocaine and heroin. So I don't have the enzyme, so I'm not going to be able to process this. So they said I would die instantly. <laughs> But look at this funny part right here. It says that it plays an important role in inactivating what's ghrelin. I'm gonna say a peptide hormone involved in hunger, feeding, and stress. I like how they put hunger and feeding. <laughs> I thought hunger would be the same thing. Oh, those are two different things. <laughs> so maybe that's why I'm always hungry and pissed. <laughs> yeah. He gets hangry, <laughs> like hangry, hangry. Like you need to like leave the room, hangry. I'm not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> dollar, dollar bill. Okay, so show the money. Show the money. Julie was like, "Thanks for showing the scratch off. It was exciting. It was exciting for us too, Julie." Why did Daddy get that scratch off? That was supposed to be for me. But then my grandmother was in heaven. And was like, "Here you go, my child." And I was like, "Thanks, Grandma." But now it's not for me. <laughs> you sound like somebody. <laughs> Like, I don't know who though. <laughs> oh, thanks, Grandma. Thanks, huh? Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> what do you sound like? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say this word. This Aria Visayas, Visayas, Indians. There is a prevalence of the deficiency. Joe's still, Joe's still trying to pronounce it. We moved on, Joe. Uh, studies performed in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. On 22 men and women in the community states that nine of them have the deficiency which translates into a prevalence of 4,000 fold higher than in European and American populations. Look at this guys, Persian Jews. Pseudocholinesterase race deficiency is an autosomal recessive condition common within the Persian and Iraqi populations. Approximately one in 10 Persian Jews are known to have a mutation in the gene causing this disorder and thus one in hundred couples will both carry the mutant gene. Huh. You're a mutant, you're like X-Men. I woke up today with this focus that I really wanted to study more about my deficiency because I really feel that the deficiency gives a lot of clues to uh, my ancestry and I'm still waiting for the ancestry DNA results to come back. I was hoping that it would come back no later than the middle of April, but I really think it won't come back till like the end of April because I was watching other people give their results, you know, from last week, from the first part of April. And this one lady said she turned her test in, well, she sent it in um, like the 28th of January. They said they received it like around the 8th or 9th of February. And she was hoping that it would be ready by the 20th of March for her birthday, but it wasn't ready until like the first week in April. She said they seem to be really backed up. So I turned mine in like around February 27, 28th, around the 8th of March or so they said they received it. And up to now, they still haven't said if they're processing it. So Josh was thinking that some dude that's supposed to update, you know, the, um, the thing on the internet probably just didn't update mine and they're working on it. So, um, yeah, every now and again, I get really anxious about it because I want to know what it says. I really do feel like it's going to say Iraqi in us because my mom's dad looked totally totally Middle Eastern you know so I <laughs> feel like it's gonna say um, something from the Middle East and the reason I picked Iraq is because a lot of the Iraqi soldiers went to Belize to build roads and bridges back in the day and um, they they were so important to Belizeans you know building that they even got to name a few of the streets in Belize we have Baghdad Baghdad Road Mosul Street Mesopotamia Euphrates, we have a lot of these weird named streets in Belize. So, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting, right? So today is Palm Sunday, guys. I really wanted to go get palms somewhere, but I don't want to have to deal with church. I am so sick of church and the way they beg for money and the way they just 
prop up this idiot that's in office, especially these evangelicals. So I was going to go back to the Episcopal Church today, the church that I attended when I first moved here, but I don't know what time the service has started. And I don't know if it was 9, if it was 10, if it's going to be 11, I don't know what time. So we might pass by there on the way to Costco just to see what time the service is starting, and then maybe I'll go for Easter Sunday next week or something. But I much prefer to go there because they're like really calm. With you know, they don't get involved in politics if you don't have to. So, anywho, um, I gotta re need some baguettes. Maybe Jada will bake it when I'm gone to Costco. Joe is over there. What are you doing, babe? Messing around on Facebook. And um, you want to come say hello? Come say hello. Come say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Hello, people. How you doing? You sound better. You're not so much better. I think I'm doing better. I still got a little. little you think stuff you think that soup helped you? The the one that I did with the onions and the vinegar and chicken and stuff. What happened? It, just the escabeche, because mm -hmm. they said the chicken enzyme is good to loosen phlegm. The onion enzyme, the vinegar. <laughs> you think that helped them? Helped them? I, I think it helped a lot. Uh huh. So, I'm doing much better, and look, I'm pulling out of it. So. Uh, is Greenwich going to live? Yeah, Greenwich going to live after all it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Greenwich going to live after all it looks like. <laughs> like you're disappointed. Okay, folks. That you get. Are you disappointed to live? Yeah. Are you disappointed to live? If you got money, then I live. But if you don't get money, why live? Joe, you notice how all these birds are so bold-faced to land in my yeah. backyard? Uh -huh. I bet you if Willow was back there, they, didn't la they wouldn't land, though. Uh -huh. Cora and um, Wednesday don't, don't try to eat them. Willow used to grab them. Willow used to leap in the air and grab them. She was part um, bloodhound. She used to bring possums all the time for Jada. Jada would run screaming for the hills. <laughs> all right, because I've been negligent in shouting this person out, yeah, you get a twofer. Jada and me will shout out Sophie and Olivia. She didn't like, even let me get to say one of the names. Okay, man. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> just gonna explain that Belizeans don't say Olivia. 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 <laughs> I think of Olive because of Daddy's Aunt Olive. Uh huh. Hey, Sophie and Olivia, Hi, Olivia. originally from Orange Walk. Uh huh. What did we go? We didn't go there. We didn't mm. go to the to the north. We went to the west. We went to Cayo. So she was in the north, Jada. <gasps> she wasn't in the north. She wasn't in the north. Winters coming. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Off to Costco. The only reason she's doing it is because she's that McDonald's spicy Szechuan sauce from Milan. The Szechuan sauce. The Szechuan sauce. <laughs> do they have that? They hopefully they'll get it. <laughs> so I gotta do all of this before I go to Costco. Do you want me to stay then? Um, this on re is pretty quick. I might have to stay and bake this my damn self. Um, I know some people that they make a big deal off of going to Costco. That's their one outing that they get. <laughs> Who? I ain't calling no name, girl. People be watching this vlog. But they make a big deal every time they go to go to Costco and they put it on Facebook. Talking to Oh, I know she, I know. You know who I'm yeah, talking, about? talking about? Talking I was just who? talking to Richard and Damien. Uh -huh. And he was like, You guys got a Costco out there? I'm like, Of course we have a Costco out here. Not like we're a hick town. <laughs> <laughs> you take that back, Jada. A lot of hick towns have Costco's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they have um all these and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they expect that we're supposed to know what that is when they talk about it on their vlogs. Mm -hmm. I went to all these. I'm like, am I supposed to know what that is? I don't live in Florida. You know what I mean? Yeah. I used to live in Florida. And they, I Why doesn't Florida have a Costco? Seattle has a Costco. I, I think Florida has Costco. Oh. I think we're just messing around. I think all of the states have it. But the, um, the, um, the places that Florida ha um, had, we don't have over here. And so we don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> What are you yeah. making? Baguette? Yeah. You have to roll it flat like that first? Yeah. This is what you have to do is um, roll it out, mm -hmm. right? And then you roll it like cinnamon. Oh. And then Joshua saw me doing it the other day and he goes, you missed all the cinnamon stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, fool, I wasn't finna. I wasn't finna put no cinnamon in this. This is a baguette. Well, you know, you. every time... <clears throat> What are you looking at when the, the camera baguette? Goes, oh, okay, because I'm like, you better not be looking at my double chin. The um, I keep saying that I'm gonna put like jalapeno in one of these baguettes, and mm -hmm. I keep forgetting when I make it. 
Yeah, baby. So. Mama. Just kill the man. Mm -hmm. Shh, shh, shh. Copyright. Copy. <laughs> See how you do it? Mm -hmm. Then you have to seal it. Come on, seal, seal, seal. This one's like really wet today, the dough. Mm -hmm. That's why it smells doughy. Jada goes, what smells like dough? And I go, dough? <laughs> <laughs> ah, dear. And you know what they said when I first found this recipe? That you're supposed to let it raise and then you cut it. And I knew that if I did that, it would burst like a balloon. But stupid me still followed the instructions. So what I do is I cut it now. No, cut it after it raises. And why do we cut it? Just to Let make it, it pretty. Oh. I don't think it does anything. But what do I know? I know a lot about, I know how to cook things, but I don't know the science of food. She doesn't know science of food. Dory can't fit back there. My head's it's too like tall. touching the wind, rare wind or whatever. <laughs> I told her let me go in the back. I didn't think it'd be this small. <laughs> I just have a scoot down. My Nissan said, look, this is going down. It's even worse. Let's see, let's look see. Look at that. Let's see. I'm not even trying this. I'm just going to be sitting normally. Joe, can we pass by the church to see what time they start? Joe? The church. Yeah. Where uh, Father Keith used to be. Oh. Is that the other way? This way. The Potter? Potter? Potter House? Hmm. Is it like the Church of Harry Potter? For like mother? <laughs> no, Potter House? <laughs> Church on start and I said it the time. Okay, let's see. Uh, Episcopal Church. No no time to find a door. Go see. Church. That's when we used to come and have church right here. Remember this house? Okay. This is where Jada got baptized in this house with the pool. The pool is yeah, right place there. Got crappy um Sunday school. Sunday school is always boring, Jory. No matter where you go, no, it's boring. It was, that was worse. <laughs> I remember that. That's traumatizing stuff. I remember one of the leading members of that church. She didn't like the um, movie Home Alone Part One, um, and her little granddaughter was not allowed to watch it. And I'm like, why? Because you guys were allowed to watch it. The kid in that uh, movie is too cheeky. You know, he's too upstart. I'm like. My kids are not going to do that to me, but her granddaughter did it to her. <laughs> so it's like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has a kid, you know. Hmm? He has a kid already. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't think that $50 is going to cover this card. Well, put it on way. You want like your kids, use your card, like anything to find a card. I like your jacket, Jory. The one you bought me. Oh, I did? You give me the money for it. Winter is coming. Ooh. Like little Mexico town or something in this complex. Guadalajara furniture, Marisco something. La Samaya. You know this that Chujo? Mm I saw that there was nothing in the P.O. box, right? We just went and checked it today because we went out to run a couple of errands. I don't think they're going to send my check there because they've been sending all correspondence over to the old shop address and then it gets forwarded to me. So it takes a while for me to receive it. Um, it really makes me angry because Maria has already received her deposit um, for Osley shop. They stole a lot from her according to what she said, but they already cut her a check. She gave her keys back on March the 10th. We gave our keys back on January 11th. Where is my money? You know, they said 298 bucks. Well, I'm not even going to fight you. Just send it. I really feel that that woman, the management lady, she didn't tell her owners that we moved. That's why we got that one big bill. Remember that $3,200 bill or whatever? Because she's been renting that building that we left out on the sly. So think about it. If the building can go for $1,200, but somebody doesn't really want to sign a lease and she can keep it secret from her bosses that the building is empty, she can sneak somebody in there, like a body shop or something that don't take a whole bunch of equipment, and then collect $600 from them and pocket it, and her bosses wouldn't know. She's, the, the rumor has long been going around that that's what she does. I really feel like that's what she did to my building and that's why I didn't get my money back from the owners.
because they're thinking I'm still in there to when Joe went over there and you know showed her hey they sent us a bill how the hell are we getting a bill when you know that you did the walkthrough with us so I really hope that check will come this week because I'm sick of them holding on to my money I wanted to give a quick shout out to Princess Roxana I hope I got it right Joe was it Princess Roxana I asked you to help me remember Joe was it Princess Roxana I told you Joe said yeah Princess Roxana and Jillian Jillian, welcome back. I know that you had the service already for your dad. You said there was some, you know, drama. Girl, there was a lot of drama with my mom's services too, but stuff that I can't report. I wish I could. But anyways, we still kept it classy because it was about mom. So whatever fights we were going to have, we calmed down. So <laughs> uh, Jada's over at Colin doing more music you know she still has to finish four more songs to put on this EP she only has the one song out she's on spring break well Colin's on spring break too from school so starting tomorrow that's their spring break and Joe is sitting quietly over there not playing the guitar because he wants me to finish up my vlog the boys are in their room and I would have to say I had a pretty decent weekend you know so um, every day that we're not sick, you know, like Joe's getting a whole lot better. His medicine's almost done, so I hope he doesn't have any relapses, right? But every day that we're not like dying sick, we just are grateful for that, you know, because that's how it starts. If you're grateful for the little, God is going to entrust you with more. And that's what I'm, I'm hanging on to. I mean, look at it. Look at it this way. We got through the first three months in a new business, closing the old business, and me trying to hang on tooth and nail to do YouTube. So I'm back to these um, things now, sitting on my, my leg and it's starting to go dead. I'm back to these things now where I'm trying to reach out to these shows again. So um, yeah, I, I really just need one show to call me and say, can you come and contribute a food segment? And after that, I'm gone because you all know I'll show up and be professional, you know? So that's what I need, and that's what I'm going to work on. I just can't sit here. I hate when people in the church say, your job is to just keep on, you know, practicing and get perfect at it and, and wait on God. I can't stand that. I can't stand that because, like I always tell you guys, if God wanted you to comb your hair, do you think he would come down, to, come down out of heaven and comb your hair for you? You know? God also wants you to reach out and make these contacts, and then he'll pave the way for you. Anyways, guys, thanks for uh, spending this Sunday with me. I will see you guys tomorrow night. Tomorrow morning, I have a video to um, release at the cooking channel. And you'll see me tomorrow night with another vlog, all right? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. When the red button is on? Yeah. OK. OK, guys, see, I'm doing it. This is very pretty. He's, he doesn't want to go back on the boat. Splash. Splash? Yeah.